that I'm welcoming our first speaker. Okay, uh, so I'm uh, Wataru Ishida from uh, NGT Software Innovation Center. So today, uh, first of all, uh, thank you for having me to this uh, great uh, meeting. Uh, today, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, GoBGP, yet another open source uh, BGP demo. So GoBGP is an uh, open source BGP implementation and hosted on the GitHub. And, uh, as you can see from the name, it is uh, written in Go. And I, I forgot to uh, write about the license. It is an Apache 2 license. And uh, the main target applications of uh, GoBGP is uh, first is uh, high performance route server for internet exchanges. And second is uh, integration with uh, data analysis systems. And third is a uh, BGP daemon for uh, white box switches. So uh, the reason why uh, we started to develop uh, another BGP implementation is uh, because the SDN era has uh, begun. And today I don't uh, going to define strictly about the SDN. I just uh, using SDN for, uh, I mean, uh, the network engineers are starting to write uh, more and more softwares. And uh, these trends can be seen uh, during uh, this uh, meeting in many se uh, sessions, and uh, in, uh, for example, in uh, uh, Atlas Hackathon. And so uh, we need a SDN native BGP implementation, so we started uh, this project. And uh, what SDN native means uh, for us, the first is a high performance. So existing uh, open source PGP daemon are uh, mainly single threaded, so uh, they can only exploit uh, one CPU core. Uh, GoBGP can uh, exploit uh, multiple cores thanks to uh, Go language. And uh, aim to be run on uh, modern and commodity hardware, which has uh, many uh, CPU cores and uh, tons of memory. The second is an uh, API first architecture. Uh, existing uh, BGP implementation are uh, mainly CLI first. So if you want to do some uh, automation or integration, uh, you have to use uh, expect library and uh, it is very uh, painful, you know. So uh, GoBGP uh, uses uh, GLPC. It is a uh, RPC framework uh, initially developed by Google and Square. It uh, use HTTP2 for transport layer and uh, protocol buffer for serialize, serializing. And it has 10 language binding, so uh, integration with your software is uh, smooth. So this is uh, GLPC's uh, website. It supports C, C++, Java, Golan, Node.js, Python, Ruby, and so on. The last one is a vendor neutral configuration model. Uh, so existing uh, BGP daemon's configuration varies. So uh, we decided to use uh, open config. It is a YAMP model for uh, BGP. Uh, it is discussed in uh, IETF. And uh, on Tuesday this week, uh, Cisco's just announced uh, its iOS starting to support uh, this open config configuration model. And this means uh, not uh, you can use a GoBGP's configuration file for uh, Cisco's routers, but uh, the model is same, so you can write a script to convert the GoBGP's uh, configuration file to Cisco's uh, configuration files. And uh, there are one-to-one -one mapping because the model is safe, uh, same, so uh, it's getting uh, easier to switch uh, different uh, BGP implementations. Okay, so for the simple review, uh, what SDN native means for us is first high performance, and for this we use a Golan and uh, exploit the multiple CPU cores, and second is uh, API first architecture. We use GLPC for this, 
And last is a vendor neutral configuration model, and we use uh, open config for this. Next, uh, I'd like to uh, share uh, the basics of GoBGP. When you uh, install uh, GoBGP, it comes with uh, two binary. Uh, one is GoBGPD. This is obviously a BGP daemon uh, running on your server. And uh, GoBGP, this is CLI tool. But uh, it uses a GLPC underneath. So you can use uh, CLI tool uh, to configure daemon, but uh, also you can put your own software and uh, configure or retrieve stats from uh, uh, daemon. And uh, the CLI tool looks like this. Uh, this shows neighbors, and this shows uh, the detail of the neighbors. Uh, thinks it's familiar for you. And you can see the global rib like this. And uh, this, is, this shows uh, what the GLPC is cool. Uh, GLPC supports uh, not only get and put, but the notification support it has. So uh, this is a GoBGP monitor command. Uh, if you type this, uh, you can get the notification from uh, GoBGPD when uh, best pass has changed or some uh, withdrawal has uh, received. And you can do the same for the neighbor's uh, status. So if the uh, state machine state changed, uh, you can uh, get notified. Okay, and. Uh, if you pass a hyphen J, uh, the output will be in the JSON format, so it is uh, easy to pass. And even more, uh, if you write like uh, this snippet, this is in a Python. Uh, this, when you run this snippet, uh, result in this. So you don't need any expect. So it is clean and uh, error, error handling is uh, uh, more easy. Okay, next uh, I want to talk about the uh, target applications. The first is a high performance route server for internet exchanges. So a uh, GoBGP can be run as a route server. It supports uh, multiple ribs and uh, flexible policy enhancement point. I, uh, I know uh, in this uh, field, uh, the bird is uh, really doing a good job. Uh, but uh, I also heard from uh, operators, uh, they want to have a backup implementation. So for the first stage, uh, we want to be that uh, backup implementation. So we have a, a route server implementation. The support uh, policy condition and action is like this. Uh, we can use a prefix source and uh, I forgot uh, the destination neighbor and uh, AS pass of its length and content and uh, community, extended community, we can use a uh, regular expression and the uh, RPKI validation result as a condition. And the action is a uh, permit deny, add replace remove of the communities and med AS pass. And the uh, arithmetic operation of med is also supported. The second is the uh, integration with uh, data analysis system. Uh, in this use case, GoBGP is just a, a library for a BGP subsystem. And we already have uh, some users for this use case. Uh, the BGP Mon, uh, which is a project uh, led by a Colorado State University. Uh, this is a real time version of a route view. And the FastNet Mon, uh, which has a presentation on uh, Monday. So in this mode, uh, GLPC, uh, sorry, uh, GoBGP is just a uh, BGP rivalry. It uses a GLPC to integrate with your data analysis system. And the last thing is a uh, BGP daemon for white box switches. So there's a big wave of uh, open networking. Uh, the network commoditization has started and uh, expansion of uh, use of uh, white box switches, especially in the hypergiant, is uh, starting. So GoBGP can be run on top of these kind of uh, white box switches. So GoBGP already ported on uh, Cumulus Linux and uh, Open Network Linux. And this shows uh, how it works. So uh, 
The FIV uh, modification is done via uh, ZAPI and Netlink. The ZAPI is an API for uh, Zebra and uh, Quagga routing daemons. And uh, it can do uh, IPv4 and V6 unicast FIV modification uh, through the API. And other FIV modification is uh, directly done via uh, Netlink. So uh, the API just support IPv4 and V6 unicast modification. Uh, but GoVGP uh, also supports uh, eVPN, uh, which is a uh, technology to construct uh, L2 VPN and uh, exchange a MAC address. Uh, between the BGP daemons. So in that use case, we have to do a MAC for database uh, modification. So for, for that, uh, we directly uh, use a netlink to uh, configure the FIB in the uh, Linux networking subsystem. And the use case is, uh, one of the use cases is eVPN uh, plus uh, VXLAN. Uh, as I said, the MAC address exchange occurs in BGP. And we already uh, checked the interoperability with uh, Cisco and Juniper Box at uh, Interop Tokyo in this year. And for this uh, interoperability, uh, interoperability check, we use uh, Cumulus Linux and uh, Quanta's white box switches. Okay, and uh, other features. Uh, we have a full route uh, MLT injection feature which can be done in less than one minute. So uh, you can use GoBGP for testing your new gear uh, to check uh, your new gear can properly handle the full route. And route monitoring feature, MLT dump, and uh, I forgot to update this. BMP is currently supported, so M you can uh, use MLT and BMP for uh, route monitoring. And there are route reflector feature, and add pass is uh, on the roadmap. We will add soon. And our PK validation and flow spec and VPN support. Uh, we can do uh, eVPN and uh, L3 VPN things. We also have uh, uh, VLF. Okay, so this is my last slide. Uh, I like you to try this out and uh, have your comment or feedback and patches is more welcome and also a uh, star on uh, GitHub uh, is uh, very welcome. So thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, questions? Please queue up the microphone if you have. Thomas King from DKIX. Um Actually, that's not a question, it's a comment. Um, you know, we have Bird out there and most IXP use that as router and it does a, well, it, it does a good job and thanks uh, um, the network CZ guys for uh, developing it, but I think we need a second implementation that scales to the same levels as Bird does and for me the GoPGP stuff looks really promising, so thank you for that work and I hope we, we can work together in the future to make it even more scaling. Thank you. Any other questions? So I have a quick question. Uh, how about multi-protocol support? Do you have basically for V6, V4, are you supporting that over the same session or is it more like split in two different ones? I, uh, currently we use a different BGP session. We don't have a, a multi-session. You're uh, I'm mentioning sure. about talking about the uh, multi-session, multi-protocol on the one BGP session, right? Yes. Uh, it is, yeah, uh, it is supported. Yeah, it, it can, yeah, it is supported. Uh, you can uh, do uh, IPv4, V6, uh, flow spec, blah, blah, uh, capability exchanging on uh, one BGP session. Okay, thank you. No more questions? So thank you very much for thank the Thank you very much. Okay, next we have for the free out the uh, German. Okay, there. He's